Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it's up. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arm. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day... You will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it. Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. Even that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to Mom? See what I can do when you trust me? I told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me. That's where your spear's from, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? I don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. <gasps> Sigil. Father, if you can't trust the fates, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Pain. 
angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before. I... I chased you away. Without you? I got reckless. Overconfident. Made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together. You have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, 
I thought the Giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The Giants didn't make it. And only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? our fate another way then I'm going back to Vanaheim if we're not taking the fight to Odin I should help my brother stand against him we will join her when we can I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, said to you, I believe you just might. What are you looking for? Sure, I'm open. <laughs> Ready when you are. Get so much as a paper cut in that. You make up your mind. Brother, before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. I'm just gonna keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat, 
Think about your breathing. Try and find stillness in your mind? No. Hey, wait. We're with you. See which armpit of Muspelheim that seed leads to, huh? Mumir, what else do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agir's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Muspelheim. Feels like I was just here. Something Odin put you up to? Yeah. Company's better this... Here to get rowdy, huh? Figured you wouldn't be able to turn down having another crack at these combat. Pretty sure that's Ash Pebble. visited so many winters ago.
travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It's also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rushes, that. Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. <laughs> Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, fish-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. 
They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, you'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. Is <laughs> you forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well oh. and good. But so is privacy, <laughs> huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Incoming! Right 
By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods, either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a light elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? I'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Find the Nokin! Making these things stronger! Find you! I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves, supremely entertaining as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skolonati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Get sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try that first. But besides Hildas Vini and the Elf, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. Oh! A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Ain't heading our head. I'm ready. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Careful, brother. Yeah. Covered in bifrost. Again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. the moon uh box down there that's got to be it this is definitely an ambush yes
Dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Nothing! She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. the charm. They are not smart. I understand that. <laughs> you know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yotnar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Lightning! It's coming! 
From Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ah, uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Oh, you Doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from? Would you turn your back on the wolves, on this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a 
gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildesfini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. <laughs>